TV. Back in the car, another video, man. And uh, we got some breaking news. The Raiders have signed Brent Urban to a one-year deal. Uh, funny enough, it, the story was broken by his wife, uh, Kate Urban, on Twitter. So uh, funny right there. But uh, Brent Urban, he's back uh, with the Ravens. So let's break down the signing, okay? So Brent Urban from Canada. He was originally drafted by the Ravens in 2014, fourth round pick. Um, I believe he went to Virginia. So he's six seven. Last listed weight was about 300 pounds. I think when he was playing for the Ravens, he was around 290, 295. Um, and he played a lot of defensive end for the Ravens. So the Ravens like to bring back guys who are familiar with the culture of being a Baltimore Raven. You know, so that's why you'll see that sometimes guys will go other places and then return back to Baltimore. Um, the Ravens like to bring in guys who fit what they do, not just on the field, but off the field and who they are as a person. And obviously they, they view Brent Urban as one of those people who can who fit what the Ravens need, but also fit the culture of the Ravens. Uh, so I got some note down here about Urban. Uh, like I said, played in Baltimore from 2014 to 2017. His entire rookie contract. Then 2018, he was actually given a contract extension for one more year. After that, he kind of bounced around the league for a little bit. Uh, went to uh, Tennessee and Chicago, played for both teams in 2019. Uh, I think it was nine games in Tennessee, four in Chicago. Then 2020, he played for the Bears. And then last year, he played for the Cowboys and actually ended up being cut at the end of the season. All right. Uh, well, might have been during the season, but he only played six games for the Cowboys last year. Okay, um, so during his career, he played all 16 games in 2016 for the Ravens and 2018 for the Ravens. He had a good season in 2018. Um, I believe he started all 16 games that year. He had 27 tackles, two tackles for loss, and one quarterback hit. And he had a half a sack that season as well. So he was a contributor for that team. Um, and then he went on after that to Tennessee after, afterwards. And um, really hasn't found his footing for like those, those two years after that. But in 2020, he had really had the best season of his career playing for the Chicago Bears. Okay, so that season he had 36 tackles, two and a half sacks, four quarterback hits, and two tackles for loss. So this season, that season in 2020, he really found his footing. Um, and I believe he started eight games that year because of an injury. So he ended up starting, I think, the back half of the year for the Bears and, and played well, you know. So um, it wasn't well enough for them to keep him in the end. Uh, he decided to go to Dallas. It didn't work out in Dallas. So he was a free agent. So now the Ravens have signed him. Brent Urban is 31 years old by the time the season starts. So he might be 31 years old right now. Um, but he'll definitely be 31 by the time the season starts for sure. So this is a depth, depth, depth signing. The Ravens need more bodies. And the reason the Ravens need more bodies and a guy like Brent Urban is because of the constant injury history of Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf was signed uh, to the Ravens to provide some more interior pass rush uh, capability. He's a really smart player, capable player. Um, a guy that when he was in Denver, Von Miller gave a lot of credit to for, for you know, getting sacks because Derek Wolf would set him up for that kind of stuff. Um, but it just hasn't happened for the Ravens for in Derek Wolf. He's been injured a lot. Uh, this back injury has been persistent and kept him out all last year and a lot of the year before that as well. So, uh, you know, with, with post uh, June 1 cuts coming up, Derek Wolf is seeming to be a prime candidate for that. So, uh, I was looking at Jefferson Rebeck on Twitter. If the Ravens were to cut Derek Wolf uh, post June 1st, the cap savings is about $2 million. So, it's not breaking the bank, but it is substantial if you can move off a guy who hasn't given you much due to injury history. And you've already signed Brent Urban now. Now, Brent Urban, I'm not saying he's going to be a world beater, game changer. But he does give the Ravens another body in that interior where you couldn't count on Wolf for the same thing. Derek Wolf um, was a good player when he played, but that's the thing. We had to say statements like when he played. He just wasn't playing enough. So um, Brent Urban is a Raven. We'll see what he still has left in the tank. Like I said, he is, he is 31 years old, and he is coming off a season with the Cowboys where he only played six games. He started in four, but only played six games in total. So now this year, he won't be asked to do a whole bunch, right? He's not going to be asked to play 
every snap, start all 16 games. But, you know, he's another rotational guy that'll help out in the interior pass rush. And the Ravens are stacking them guys who can rush the passes from the inside. That's a really big, um, you can tell that's a focus that the Ravens have zoned in on, keyed in on. So, um, but yeah, man, I just want to drop this video saying that Brent Urban is back with the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Um, good signing for, for depth for the Ravens. If he can stay healthy, um, it gives the Ravens another body in there in the interior. And listen, man, the Ravens are trying to pa rush the passers from the inside. That's that's as clear as day. That's obvious that that was a, wasn't a an important um, off season um, strategy to to add guys. Travis Jones, we got Matabike. You know, we we got guys that can push the pocket from the middle. So you know, Calais Campbell is back. So uh, Brett Urban is the next line of those guys who can provide that interior pass rush, man. All right, it's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.